Shalom, family. This is Grammy, y'all. It's coming, you guys. I told you I was coming with some cheesy squash, a cheesy squash recipe, you guys. You would think that you're eating macaroni and cheese. Yes. So I have some squash right here from the garden. I have some very small ones and I have some large ones. I'm trying to make a big pan because I have company coming. So I want to make sure that I have enough. And you need a onion, a medium-sized onion or large, a stick of butter or margarine, <clears throat> excuse me, some shredded sharp cheese. I was looking for some shredded extra sharp cheese. The extra sharp cheese takes it, you guys, to another level. So I did find a 16 ounce block of the extra sharp cheese. So I'm gonna have to shred this myself. And I've never used the Gouda, but I saw someone use Gouda. So I'm gonna try some Gouda cheese right here. I'm just gonna lay that on the squash. So you're gonna see everything, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my squash and I'm cut both ends off, okay? And then I'm gonna slice it. Okay, let me bring you in a little closer so you can see what I am doing, okay? So all that never had squash before, this is all I'm doing. I'm gonna cut off both ends, you guys. I'm just gonna cut off one end, two end. See, I'm just cutting off the ends and let me see if you can see what I'm doing. And I'm just slicing it, not, not real big, See, and the thinner the slices, the faster they will uh, take to cook. But if you have a mandolin, you can just use your mandolin and just slice it. But please be careful because you will slice your finger off. Yeah. So I'll do another one. Just cut the ends off and just... Yeah, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get all these sliced up, but in the meantime, I'm gonna slice my onion. You don't, there is no special way to slice your onion, you guys, because we are gonna want this onion to cook. So no special way to slice this onion. Okay, once you get the onion all peeled, and what I usually do, I just, I just cut it here. I just cut around that core. I just cut around that core. And then I just lay it down and just, I'm chopping these onions, okay? And that's all to it. Just chop onions, very easy. Because what they're gonna do, they're, they're going to cook down. So, see, they're really not that big. So, I'm going to finish chopping and slicing. And I'm going to bring you back when I put the onions in the pan. We're going to cook, y'all. Okay, I have all my squash cut up. I have my onions in the pan, but they're not cooking yet because I want to show you what to do. And, unfortunately, the extra sharp cheese... I could not find the extra sharp cheese, so I have to shred it myself. It's no problem. You know, you can get this right here from the Dollar Tree, and you can just shred your own cheese. So if you can't find the cheese that you're looking for shredded, shred it yourself. Now that I have my extra sharp cheese all shredded, I'm going to add my shredded sharp. And I'm just gonna put all my cheese in the bowl, minus the Gouda. Um, since I have Gouda slices, I'm gonna uh, lay my Gouda slices uh, on my squash. But I'm going to mix 
in the extra sharp and the sharp together, you guys. Because everybody know extra sharp just take all your foods to the next level. Yes, this is going to be so delicious. Yes. So I need to mix the extra sharp and the sharp together. Blend it all together. Yes. I love cheese. Everything goes better with cheddar. <laughs> okay. So let me take you over to the stove and we're going to saute our onions. Okay, here we go. I'm getting ready to turn up my fire on high. I'm going to saute these onions, you guys. I'm going to take this margarine, or you can use butter, and I'm just going to cut it in half. And I'm just throwing this half a stick of margarine in the pan. And we will turn it to medium high. And we're gonna let these onions cook until they are translucent. Okay, fam, I got my onions nice and sauteed. They're looking quite translucent. Let me show you. See how they looking nice and translucent? I'm gonna turn my heat down to medium low right now. I'm gonna add some salt to my onions. And I will be revisiting the salt and the pepper. But I just wanna put some salt and pepper directly on the onions, you guys. Yeah, so once you get your onions all nice and sauteed, can you see? Can you see? Okay. Now, the other um, half of the stick of margarine, I'm gonna throw that in there. I'm going to get my squash and start dumping my squash. This is a lot of squash. It may look like a lot of squash, but once it cooked down, it's not going to be as much as you think it is. So that's why I started out pretty big because it's, this is full of water. Okay? So I'm going to turn my heat back up on high and to cook squash quicker you guys it's best to put a lid on it and you put this lid on it it will help it cook down quicker so once I get it cooked down I'll bring you back okay I thought I'd bring you guys back now, remember the squash was up to here. See, now they are sauteing down, you guys. It's not quite where I want it to be. So you just go in there to the bottom and bring that liquid up to the top. Just stir them. The ones on the bottom, you wanna put those on the top so they all can cook. We are almost there you guys and like i said this squash cheesy casserole you guys this is going to take the place of macaroni and cheese if you are a person that cannot eat pasta this is an alternative to the noodles you won't miss a beat you will not miss a beet and far as the cheeses you don't have to use those cheeses you can get you some vegan cheese and do the same thing with vegan cheese yes yes so they are almost ready you guys what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add a little bit of garlic powder to it 
maybe um maybe about a tablespoon yeah a little bit of garlic powder and i'm gonna stir it up bring the bottom to the top okay we're almost there you guys we are almost there and it smells so delicious in here. Yes, it does. I'm gonna cover them back up and let them cook a little while longer. Okay, family, we are done. I'm gonna show you what you want your squash to look like. See, kind of translucent. You see that? Yeah. So, and you, do you see all this juice, you guys? I'm gonna show you all this juice. Squash is nothing but a water, baby, <laughs> okay? Squash is full of water. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a little bit more salt, because I really didn't add that much salt. Salt to taste, you guys, but be very careful not to over salt it because the cheese is salty. Okay, I'm gonna turn my fire off. The cheese is salty, you guys, so you don't wanna make it too salty, just enough. And if you're afraid that you wanna get it too salty, you can just add salt to yours when you put it on your plate. If you like a little bit of cayenne, you can put a little cayenne, that's if you want to, but not me because I'm trying to make this mimic macaroni and cheese. So I'm just adding a little bit more pepper, okay? And I'm getting ready to go to the sink, but I'm gonna taste it, but I'm gonna go to the sink and put this in a strainer and try to get as much water off of this squash, you guys, because you don't want watery mac and cheese okay i'll bring you back okay i have my squash in my strainer what i'm going to do i'm just going to turn over the squash so that the ones that are on top get drained good and the ones on the bottom come to the top because we do not want a lot of the water and yeah so i'm gonna let that sit there and finish draining in the meantime i'm going to oil my pan okay i'm just gonna use some olive oil and i'm just gonna just oil my pan all the sides you know because i just don't want it to All right, now it's time to start layering our squash and cheese. This is the fun part, you guys. So I'm just gonna layer my pan with the squash. Yes, yes. It looks so delicious. And it smells so delicious too, family. Oh my goodness. And now what I'm gonna do is, <clears throat> I've never used Gouda cheese, but I've seen someone use Gouda cheese. So I'm gonna try the Gouda cheese because Gouda cheese is so delicious. Okay? All right, now I'm gonna add my cheddar and my, my extra sharp and my sharp cheese. Yes. Oh, let me get this out of the way so you can see how cheesy this is going to be. It's called cheesy for a reason. It's supposed to have a lot of cheese. Yes, you see that? 
Y'all go ahead and like and subscribe and, 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 and share right now because this is going to be the bomb. All right. So I got that here. I'm going back with another layer of squash. Yes. This is going to be so delicious. This is a 13 by, what's that? 13 by nine pan, something like that. I'll put it in the description box, but you know, this is one of the bigger ones. And y'all can come here if you want to. I grab me a cup for you. Yes, come visit me. Grammy loves company, you guys. Yes, I do. I have company right now. Actually, it's not company. It's my children and my grandchildren. And I just love to cook for them. I just love to cook for everybody. Come see me. So Grammy can make this again. As long as those squash are out there pumping, we can do this. Okay. <clears throat> All right. This is my second layer. Y'all, this is going to be so delicious. I'm serious. All right. I have three more slices of Gouda cheese left. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put that right down the middle. All right. And now I'm getting ready to load it back up again. Yes. Oh, doesn't it already look delicious, you guys? Yes. Yes. And I'm going to set my oven to 350 for about 20 or 25 minutes until the cheese melts. But I really want to give it a nice helping of cheese on top because you're going to see how nice and bubbly it's going to come out. I'm going to show you and get all my cheese. It's falling over, you guys. The cheese falling over. We want all our cheese up in here. All right. Oh, that looks so delicious. Look at this. Doesn't that look delicious? You can't get no better than this. I'm going to go and set my oven to 350 for 20, I'm going to say 25 minutes. And let's see what happens. While I'm waiting for my oven to heat up, I thought I would just add just a little bit more butter. Just a little bit more butter. Actually, I'm using margarine. Just a little bit more. That's it because we want it good, yes. And so now, take my aluminum foil, and I'm gonna cover my baby with aluminum foil, okay? And we're gonna put her in the oven. I just heard my oven go off. 350, you guys, yes. Ooh. Right. 354. 25 minutes. Here we go, family. It's been 25 minutes. Yes. Look at that. Oh my word. I'm going to take that for you off and I'm going to put it back in there and let it get a little bit more brown on top. Okay, family. I browned the top. What I did was I turned it on broil so I can just brown the top. Oh my goodness, y'all. Look at this. Oh, this looks so delicious. And it's hot. I'm going over to the stove. Woo! Get that. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna let that sit there for about 10 to 15 minutes, just like macaroni and cheese, so it can like tighten as much as it can, because right now it's entirely too hot. But look at that. Oh! Okay, family. I have my daughter-in-law, Katia, <laughs> to do the taste test. Here we go. 
here we go. It's hot. So, and let us know how it is. Mm -hmm. It's hot. <laughs> it's good. It's good. It's really good. And today is Sabbath, so we're going to get my grandson Evan to blow the shofar to close us out. Mm -hmm. All praises to the most high. Thank you guys for watching. I love you, but guess what? I love the most high more. Shalom.